Sure. Um, well, I think the refugees I have, in addition to this job, I have a private practice I've been doing for about, what, since 97, so 19, 19 years. Um, and I think the refugees are quite resilient people. Um, I think they went through a lot. Um, and certainly, like, refugees are not people who's planning to be here, so their body are normally here first. And then the mind is slowly catching up to the body. So that's why when you see refugee on University Avenue, we'll see them in sandal, and people don't think that they are very smart, but they do. They are all very smart. They're very resilient. It's just that I think they need to understand to be more in tune to the to the environment and the society. So that's why I say the body is here first and the mind slowly comes later. Um, and so those are important uh, um, uh, implications for the work that we do. Um, and so they are quite resilient because they have been through a lot. But I think at the same time, because they've been through so much, I think it's uh, really um, difficult um, depending on the generation you look at. I think refugees tend to be kind of grouped into one group, but within the refugee, there are the adults who are born overseas and come here as an adult. Um, their mindset are very different from those who came here as young children who naturally are progressing in society in America. And so I think we had to see who they are and um, the age they're here. And so I think, but more, I think refugees are quite resilient people. Yeah. So I think there are a lot of culture shock. Um, and culture shock is when we do the same thing and that we used to know what the result and the root of the game is, and we no longer know that. And so I do think the refugee go through quite a bit of that. Um, for example, when the monks first come, um, the older adult were marrying younger girls and there were risks to that. There were a lot of persecution. I see that with the Quran now too. Um, so there are a lot of uh, the sense of self-formation uh, changing based on the uh, environment, what it has to offer. Uh, for example, education and economic opportunity are two things, for example, I think that have dramatically impact the Hmong sense of self-formation between the woman and the men. And then that dictates how the relationship between the couple will play out. And so I think for refugee, because the mind is slowly coming, there are a lot of cultures child to understanding the rule of the game has changed. And how do you adapt to that? And sometimes it has very negative consequences before we come to term with that. Um, whereas I think if you're an immigrant, then you kind of understand the society and you kind of plan ahead. You're waiting for the visa to come to get the body here, but the mind has come long ago. And so I think that's the difference between, and so I think that's where the work with the refugee has to be taken into account on the mindset of the client that we work with, that the pacing, the concept that we introduce in therapy are probably going to be slower and might be, the client might not be as um, able to catch on, and it doesn't mean that they're not as smart. It just said, I think that as a concept that we have to just slow down. So, yeah.